Okay guys, so you want to get your MOV file to be downloaded onto your PC and then you want to be able to edit it, which sometimes can be kind of hard. Right, so for example, right now I've got my iPad, I'm just using my iPad for now, but obviously it's the same with your iPhone as well. So basically I'm just going to go ahead and try to do a video. So let's go and go to video. And let's just take a um, video of this. So let's just do this. Okay, so I'm just taking a video. As you can see, I'm just moving it around just to give you a feel of what I'm videoing. Doesn't really matter, so I'm just going to stop it. Now, I've just videoed this page. How to export video from iPhone, iPad to PC. And then obviously this is my other channel that I wanted to just point out to you guys that this is a channel that I have. Um, well, obviously this is another channel that I have, which I do like cooking time and natural remedies on. So you can see if you're interested, go ahead and watch it. I'll have the link on the description box and you guys can just go have a look. If you like it, obviously subscribe, like and share it. And yeah, let's get on to the actual video now. Hi, what's up? This is the Tech Girl 007 here teaching you all about the tech whether they're tech issues, reviews, tutorials, unboxing and much more and that all in one right here on this channel now that we've got this video in here which is obviously an hour so if I just show you guys it's somewhere right here so this is the one that you can see right so we want to bring this video into the computer and want to be able to edit it so then what you need to do is actually we need to connect this although i've shown you this uh, just previously just now i'm just gonna do it once more so you guys can see and then you'll see a pop-up on the screen on the t uh, computer actually so let's do this i'm gonna just whoopsie you can't see Right, so here we go. And it makes that. Okay. So, so in this page, we've got the iPad and then we've got the internal storage. Right, so what we want to do is click on the internal storage and then go on to DCIM. And in here, we're going to have to navigate through these. Right, so you see that this is a file called img1870 i want to just right click on it and go to properties now in here you can see that the file is a type of an mov file which usually you may not be able to do an edit on so to demonstrate that i'm just gonna bring that file to the sony vegas or filmora 9 whichever you prefer i'm just gonna cancel that for now i'm just gonna maybe i'm not able to name it so i'm just gonna keep it as that i'm gonna copy it because i don't think you can uh, let me just go to sony vegas sony vegas okay oh i did sony vegas vegas Right, so I'm just going to go to Sony Vegas. It's going to wait for it to load. Right, okay, so this is Sony Vegas. I'm just going to a little bit, it's going to bring it aside. I'm going to have this file on its other side got all of this previous editing I'm just gonna just bring in a new page so it's all clear now just gonna try to drag this in here it's not able to 
because you're not able to take that direct from there and able to edit it so i'm just gonna copy that i'm gonna paste it somewhere i'm just gonna make a folder on the desktop say try double click on the folder try to paste it in here okay so that's pasted so that's now on the try folder now let's try to bring it in here in sony vegas can we do that it says do you want to set your project video setting to match this media i just want to say no i will say no to that but hey look you can actually bring that so you don't need to do any adjustments to it. i'm just gonna put this a little bit louder so let's play it okay so i'm just taking a video as you can see just yeah you can actually edit it so you don't have to convert the mov to mp4 or other um, uh, extensions for it to be able to edit it on any editing software so that's one thing that you can do basically copy it from where it is and paste it somewhere on the desktop bring it over to where you want to edit it and that's basically it so that was one way of how to you know use your videos um, and transfer it to your pc and then be able to edit it as well all right so that was just one way of bringing your file from your iphone or ipad into your pc and then being able to edit it as well right so now let's go ahead and see the other way on which we can do this right so this is the second method what you could do is go ahead and download vlc basically what you can do is um, go on to the app store and just say continue and in here go on to where it says search and write in here vlc now it's going to show up so it says open for me because i've already downloaded it so i'm just going to open it now so these are all the videos that i've got let's see how we're going to bring that same video to vlc and then be able to transfer it to the pc right so i'm gonna just press the home button i'm gonna go to the uh, photos and i'm gonna go to the same video so i'm just gonna hold it simultaneously and then press on where it says share so once you press on share you go down to where it says save to file and then in here this is usually up so you want to press it so then the arrow can go down and then go on to where it says vlc once you clicked on that just press on save now let's go to vlc and we'll see if that video is here yeah the video is just has just come gonna i'm just gonna Okay, so press on it so it's playing now now let's go on to the pc and i'll show you what you do but before that i want to show you what you actually do so you go on to where it says network and in here it says the sharing wi-fi and what you need to do is take this 192.168 etc right so on here on your pc screen you write that code in and then just press on enter on the keyboard right and here now you can see all the files so the file that we're interested in is this one now if i press on it this will download in here and then later on you will be able to open it and edit it so if i just press on that so you can see it has downloaded in here waiting for it to process and then because you can see there's an mov file you can do the same thing uh, with it and then just drag it to whichever editor that you wanted so this is the same file now that you put onto that try folder before so this was the second way on which you could do it 
which was quite easy this was the easiest way i think instead of you plug in everything uh, in this case you don't have to have your ipad plugged in i did have it because i wanted to just charge my ipad because it didn't have much charge now let's look at the third way on which you can do it which should also be pretty easy right so the third method that i'm going to be showing you guys is to transfer that video back into your iphone or ipad so basically the reason i'm not doing a screen recorder in here and uh, just videoing it off my camera is because i want to show you that the computer screen and the ipad because as soon as i log into what i'm going to be logging in which is the icloud the reason i'm showing my ipad in here as well is because you're going to see a notification on my ipad and then we're going to have to it's because of the authentication that we need to do because maybe that has been a long time that I've uh, logged in on my PC using my Apple ID and maybe I, if I haven't before so yeah those two cases it will ask you to authenticate so you need to go on to icloud.com I will have all these links on the description box so you can just click on it instead of just typing it and then I will just put in here my Apple ID and then go next and then my password then just say next right so you see on the ipad it's saying something if your ipad is on then that's what it's going to be saying if your ipad is not on then you'll have this message so it will say your apple id is being used to sign in on the web page near wherever you're living and then what you need to do is click on the home button if you ask for your password like the login for your um ipad then you have to do that before you get to the other page you press on that and then in here you just want to say allow so i just want to zoom it in so you can see you want to press allow in here and then it's going to give you a code now let's go and see on the computer screen to see what it's asking us so in there as well it's actually asking you for two-factor authentication so in here what you need to do is you put that code that's given to you from the ipad so it's like two four five each time will be different so it says trust this browser you just want to say trust and this way your computer can have access to what's on your apple id so it's saved on your apple id and then or your icloud id basically kind of the same so now let's see on the computer now you want to just bring a video onto your icloud and then for you to be able to get it on your ipad so it's probably going to be the same video but this time i would like to just rename it so you guys can know the difference of the first one and this one so this one i'm just gonna like copy it and repaste it in here but then i'm gonna rename it so like uh i'll just say two so that you guys know that this is the second one that we're working on right so we've got this and i want to just it to one side and then you've got your iCloud so now what you want to do is go on to where it says iCloud Drive so click on iCloud Drive and you see this number two that we've got in here you drag it in here so it will take a bit of time so the only downside to this bit this method is basically it will take a bit of time you know because uh, it depends on how fast your internet westbound is so yeah so you have to wait for that and i'll then show you on the ipad to see where that is right okay now as you can see that the file is now complete now let's go on to our ipad and see how we actually find it you have to be signed in onto your Apple ID if you go to the settings and in here you should be logged in and then you want to go on to where it says file and then in here is where you should see that file we if it's not there you just refresh it refresh it a few times and then if it's not still coming you just double click on the home button you just remove it and then bring it back again 
okay you still you can't see it that's no problem you can search for that in here so if you just say two and look in here it should come so you press on it right so there we go that's the video that you've got in there the reason it was quick in here because it was already downloaded from the computer to the iCloud this needed to just process it into the iPad right so that was the third method now I'll just show you another method which is going to be our fourth method which will just wrap up this video so what you need to do is this time I'm going to be using VLC again so you you can see for all these methods you don't need any cable you don't need any any sort of you know extras uh, for you to be able to transfer these videos onto your computer or maybe back onto your Apple device apart from the first method of course right so let's go to VLC again you see that VLC in there you just click on it and you know where you went to the network before you go again to the network and then you look for sharing via wi-fi you put on the http number which is 192.168 and then whatever number that comes after it for yourself and then we go there. right so in here on your computer you just write the same code which is for me right so obviously 192.168 and then the rest will be different for um for you and myself so i just press on the enter on the keyboard and now you'll see this page again right so you've got this now we're going to be bringing that same file but this time we're going to be naming it to three so we'll copy and we do paste again because we had already copied it and this time we're going to be writing in here we're going to re we're going to be renaming it as three right okay so let's do this it's the same concept as you did for iCloud you just drag and drop and obviously it will take a bit of time for it to get downloaded but yeah it doesn't matter you just want that file to be you know get transferred over and then you can do whatever to it so let me just drop this in here right so you, you it's happening in here it says mov3 3.mov and then it's just happening there you just need to wait for it right so that's now done 200 percent so let's go on to the ipad again now to see where we can get this from let's go down to the ipad right so you go to the videos and then in here you can see number three you can open it play it and then if you wanted to do anything with it you can always come back here if you wanted to edit it you can just long press it and then share it wherever you want to share it and your phone or your iPad and then this way you can all be set right so that's it guys I hope you liked it don't forget to subscribe like and share it and don't forget to press that bell icon because that's very important it's because you will get notified on my next video so you don't miss any of them right so take care guys bye